Okay, I think uh, we can start. We'll start with a uh, uh, short introduction uh, by Sebastiano, and after that by Paolo, and they will talk about the Italian trading a trade agency, the Innovit, uh, and uh, the Silicon Valley Study Tour. Good uh, morning, U.S. Uh, afternoon, Italy. My name is Sebastiano Peluso, and I am the head of the innovation desk at the Italian Trade Agency. Uh, so we are talking about a government agency who helps, uh, uh, in general, big company to trade internationally. With the innovation desk, we help the startups in uh, approaching uh, the international market, specifically from uh, California. We work on the U.S. market, so we help uh, startups in coming to the U.S. market basically with three outgoing services. So we help uh, by attending the top show of innovation, like the CES in Las Vegas, Bio in San Diego, the JP Morgan Healthcare Conference in San Francisco, and so, where we buy space to create the Italian pavilion, and we let the startups to exhibit. And we also do the Global Startup Program. It is a program totally funded from the government that allows uh, the startups to spend eight weeks uh, in an acceleration program around the world, including the US. And so with these outgoing services, we bring the startups in the US. We also do incoming services. And so we invite uh, US investors and accelerators to attend events in Italy. So next week, we will bring a delegation of uh, VC, corporate venture capital, and accelerator to the Maker Fair in Rome, the Smile in Milano, and the Biat in Salerno, so that they can meet uh, Italian startups and the Italian ecosystem. And we also do on-demand services to help through market research, partner research, and investor research. So this is one of the three assets that the government gives to the startups, services to the innovation desk, money, because also through CDP ventures, government invests in Italian startups. From this year, 2022, the third asset is the Innovation Center, where we are connected now. The uh, name is uh, Innovit. is a building in the financial district in San Francisco, customized for startups. We have co-working space, for Italian startups and private offices. And we have an event space where we will have uh, Italian innovation days, pitching competition, and in general, everything that can help the startups uh, to present their offer towards investors, to um, potential clients, towards journalists, and towards talents. So for any information or requests, I'll share my contact details, and you can follow us in our uh, uh, social media pages on LinkedIn at uh, ITA Los Angeles, ITA Los Angeles. Thank you for your uh, attention. Thank you very much, Sebastiano. Let's start then, so we can like introduce uh, uh, our guest for, for today, uh, Giacomo and, uh, and Tommaso. You could like give us uh, a brief uh, presentation about uh, your background and what uh, brought you here in, uh, in Silicon Valley. So first of all, uh, hello everyone. It's a pleasure to be here, and I uh, want to thank you, uh, Eric, for for the invites and make me feel for one day a little bit old in this crowd of like young folks from everywhere. It's a great pleasure. Um, I moved here uh, in the Silicon Valley uh, almost like two years ago with my family. Prior to that, I was uh, running my family business, been running the business for 10 years since uh, 2010, 2011. And obviously prior to that, before that, I graduated from Bocconi and I spent a couple of years in a consulting firms and in a small uh, VC firm in Italy. It's been a, actually a decision, maybe for you guys interesting to understand what took me here and the reason why I decided to make that move almost two years ago. Actually at that time was uh, I was running the business. I was CEO of the uh, two company we have uh, in the UK and, uh, and in India. And uh, we moved there, bought the land, we built the factory. We hired more than 120 people. So it was like, let's say my, my startup, not a tech startup, but still was like a project. And we started Greenfield from scratch. And then uh, after that, um, I became uh, one of the owners of the company with my brothers. Uh, my father was about to leave the company and uh, it was myself and my two brothers. And then I, the reason why I took that decision, uh, obviously, 
leave the company as director, not as an owner of the company, was simply because I needed more. Actually, I had some a tough relationship with my brothers, and at sec- and second, I needed new new challenges. So I wanted to leave my comfort zone, but at the same time, it was the right thing to do. I had the right motivation. I wanted to build my own legacy, not my father and my family legacy. And so I applied to Stanford. I got in, thank God. And so I moved to the U.S. And that's what I've been doing for the last few years so far. Thank you very much, Jack. And what about you, Tommaso? Basically, uh, my story started, uh, like my story in tech on the internet started when I was in uh, in the middle school, because since I was there, I started basically any kind of internet businesses you can imagine. So like starting with like marketplaces, e-commerce, I don't know, affiliate marketing, uh, YouTube channels, I started two YouTube channels, blogs, uh, any, any sort of things, because I was so attracted by this industry and uh, to experimenting a lot of things a problem that i always had was that i never felt like in the right place so i was very curious to know you know what was happening elsewhere like i i was mm, kind of feeling that i was missing out on, on a lot of things so since i basically i, I ended up uh, um, working with startups uh, um, uh, helping startups grow basically um I, I could uh, like working remotely so I had the chance to you know to try to live in in a, in a lot of different cities okay so if the question is how I ended up in San Francisco the story was basically that I am from originally from uh, from Rimini and then I I moved to Milan for the university then I moved to London I tried to live there for two years then uh, I have tried to to live in New York and uh, and in Singapore for um, for like a few months but then when i when i visited san francisco for the for the first time i uh, you know i <laughs> i i realized that, that 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 was the place that was everything i was looking for like all the people i was looking for and uh, and so like after a lot of different experiments I, I you know decided that this was the right place for me so this is how i ended up here <laughs> And right now that you're both here, in what projects are, are you working on? Everybody. I go first. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. Music is very simple. So music needs two things together. It's the artists that compose and produce and play the music. Then you need the fans that actually listen to music and also, and also pay for it. So very, very shortly, we're going to create a music platform that not only tokenize, sell new songs and tokenize music rights. And uh, we want to, but we want to provide on chain royalty distribution and, uh, and also special, special perks to token holders and also other tools to token holders to promote their music on social media networks. Okay. So token uh, will allow fans to co-create with the artists, but also to challenge the community and uh, to increase their status and unlock uh, exclusive experiences coming. Basically, when uh, when I was here, like I think it was at, at the end of the last year, it was a pretty impressive moment in Silicon Valley because basically a lot of VCs were raising funds uh, on uh, just focus on crypto and Web three, and so a lot of startups were like uh, starting, uh, and uh, you know a lot of people were not, uh, were basically leaving their their Web two jobs to go all in in Web three, and uh, you know. Since uh, since I started to to learn uh, about you know blockchain technologies, uh, Ethereum, uh, and reading the documentation, it was pretty clear to me that I was reading something very important. Okay, so like a major new iteration of the internet. And uh, I was here in San Francisco. A lot of companies were starting. A lot of people were transitioning to Web three. And a lot of my friends that were like Web3 startup founders, asking them what was their biggest problem, you know, like the, the real big problem from them. Basically, all of them were saying the, sa- the exact same thing, hiring, 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 like the biggest problem ever faced, like hiring Web3. Why? Because uh, it's, it's something uh, particularly uh, unique and new. So it's not kind of, it's not the exact same thing as hiring Web2, where like people could have have 10 years of experience, 20 years of experience. So it's well known how you recruit people in uh, in Web2, let's call it in this way. And um, so it was uh, a really fascinating problem to me to solve, basically. And um, also because I always been passionate about the intersection of technology and marketing. So like technology for marketing, technology for distribution, and not just uh, technology itself a lot of people here in silicon valley so just focus about the product i very much more like passionate about this intersection so like 
building notification systems, uh, building network effects, these kind of things. And, uh, and so uh, building a marketplace, this, this company, Web3 Army, which is a recruiting platform for Web3 companies, was basically at, at the perfect intersection of uh, everything I was more uh, passionate about the most. So, you know, it felt pretty, pretty, pretty normal to, to start this kind of company. Okay. Maybe like Paolo, uh, if he's available to, to speak, he can, uh, he can present uh, the Silicon Valley side tour. Okay, fine. Okay. okay, guys, very happy to, to meet you this, this evening. Thank you to Eric for the great job to organize from San, San Francisco such a very interesting uh, webinar. And uh, it's only the first one. Well, at the Silicon Valley Study Tour, we, we did this, the first in uh, something like 17 years ago. 205. We have uh, guys and girls that attended our tours that now are uh, San Franciscan at all. And uh, maybe they have also family and sons in San Francisco. So the aim of these uh, seminars that for the first year we do in a joint venture with Lead the Future, that is a very nice uh, young organization made by uh, our great uh, friends and host uh, of Francesco Caponi. Now I think in Miami he is. Uh, and uh, is the goal to, to make the sort of a propedeutical job you know, and uh, inspiration for people that wants to jump to Silicon Valley, maybe by Silicon Valley Study Tour. It's not really necessary because as uh, showed by Giacomo and Tommy, you can go also by yourself or going to Stanford or just uh, uh, taking your bag and go without uh, any help. But uh, uh, the Silicon Valley Study Tour is a very intense uh, week uh, of uh, something like uh, at least uh, 10, 15 meetings uh, with the Italians in Silicon Valley and also meeting uh, like aperitif or dinner, etc. And uh, it helps. It helps a lot because in, in one week, in only five days, you make a jump in your networking that you cannot make in the same way if you go uh, straight alone. But it, is go straight alone is possible. What's more? More. I, I think that uh, it's war, I think, for young, many, for the mentees of Lead the Future that may maybe are following this webinar to follow this uh, other webinars because we will have, uh, they will have uh, a lot of other inspiring talk, uh, very different uh, from the topic, uh, from the origin of the people. And this is really uh, worked as a preparation to the attendance of the two. That's right. That's that's it. Thank you, Eric. Thank you very much. As a closing remarks, maybe we can uh, share uh, your, your contacts or like ways uh, that uh, can reach out uh, to, I mean, for Sebastian, there is like LinkedIn. And then uh, same like for uh, Giacomo, Tommaso and, and Paolo, if you want to give some pointers, I don't know, LinkedIn, Twitter. Guys, don't be scared to contact everybody. If you want to enter into Silicon Valley, like send DMs to everybody. <laughs> be social. Yeah. Right. And if you want to <laughs> crash our, if you want to crash our apartment for a couple of nights, let us know. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So uh, thank you very much and uh, see you at uh, the next one. Bye guys. Okay. Thank, thank you, you guys. Thank you Bye -bye. very much. It's been a pleasure.